guys i have a new toy i don't know if you've noticed it in the last few videos but i have a light and it changes color can you see that i'm like looking through the viewfinder so each video we can do different colors mind blown which color should we go for today i'm thinking like orange this whole scene is very orange but i'm okay with it it's my favorite color <laughs> I guess I am doing this. So I had a thought, which is always lethal for me, that it's been a while since I've looked back at my old work. What's a better time than now? So I have here my old hard drive. And if you look closely, it is from 2015. Can we just for a second take a moment that that was seven years ago? I just don't, I don't know how to feel about it. What I do know is that this means that this hard drive has all my uni work on it and i believe it will have my like first ever paid client briefs and stuff on it so i thought you could grab yourself a cuppa get yourself comfy and we could all have a giggle at my expense so that's what we're gonna do wish me luck we're gonna plug this in and let's go back down memory lane shall we Quick pause to talk about this week's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes for you to learn absolutely anything you want. I've recently been watching the Ultimate Self Care Playbook by the one and only Jonathan Van Ness, and they've really inspired me to take that extra time to look after myself and remember that self care shouldn't feel like a chore. There are so many different classes that you can take on Skillshare from illustration and graphic design to finance and flower arranging. Honestly, over the years, I have watched so many different classes. I tend to go on Skillshare when I'm feeling a little bit unmotivated and uninspired, and I always leave feeling refreshed and ready to go. If you've watched me for a while, you'll know I've used it for ages. Now, if you want to try Skillshare out for yourself, the first 1,000 of you to use my code on screen will get one month free of Skillshare Premium. And I don't know about you, but I love myself a freebie, so make sure to click that link and try it out for yourself. Here we are, the vault of my past. <laughs> Let's go straight in to university first. Ooh, this is just final year. First up, starting strong. <laughs> I mean, I think I missed a trick not doing this with Soul and Fire when it was still open. <laughs> I like that. And I actually remember doing this. I used like, think of like potato printing when you were a kid, you like scraped lines into potatoes, dipped it in paint and then pressed it on a piece of paper. That's effectively what I did for this. My teacher loved it. Oh my God, my book. So I made this book in 20, 2018 maybe? Maybe one day I should redesign this. Mr. Mouse and the scratchy noise. Kind of cute. I like the texture. This moon is a thing of nightmares. Why did I think that was suitable for a children's book? I do not know. I mean, everything else is quite cool. I remember doing this. It was literally like, I blobbed watercolor on sheets of paper, scanned them into my computer, and then chopped them out using like clipping masks in Illustrator. And I remember finding how to do a clipping mask and thinking it was the best thing in the world. So basically this entire project is based from clipping masks. Very innovative, obviously, and I really enjoyed it. Here's Mr. Mouse. Oh, little sad spider. This is actually not too bad. This is another children's book I did. So this was called Peter Panda and I actually got this one properly printed, all made in Illustrator. Illustrator was very new to me again at the time, so there's literally no shadows, no texture, but I loved how this turned out and I would love to do this again. Maybe we'll do a video where I redesign my old book. Test prints, like look at these layouts. I think these are pretty sick, pretty impressive myself. Poster brief, oh, okay, so this was my first client brief and it was unpaid, but it was for a proper client like it was for like one of the other tutors at uni who I'd never met she emailed me loads of information that she wanted and I had to put it all together this was my inspo well this was what they had before this is what I came up with I feel like this is going quite well so far these are the blobs that that first book were made of truly truly iconic you know really artistic of me <laughs> Chelsea Stewart so Chelsea tweeted me she wanted a logo design for a journalism portfolio the daisies and sunshine theme 
I can already see a glimpse of what it is. What was I thinking? Okay, Chelsea, if you're watching this, which I highly doubt you are because I made you the world's worst logo, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. This is not okay. This is not okay. Did I even try? <sighs> dear wallpaper okay so for this brief we were asked to create children's wallpaper originally i wanted to do some like monsters out of like ink splats to be honest pretty much a thing of nightmares so it's pretty obvious why i didn't go ahead with that why would a kid want that on their wall i don't know then i reignited my love for the watercolor clipping mask thing i made a monkey i made a panda a lion See, I don't think I realised that you could download textures at this point, so I made my own textures, which I guess is quite good because it made me, like, really use my imagination and, like, physically create. This is where I learned how to create repeat patterns. Oh my god, some of these images have replaced themselves. How terrifying. Oh my god, I made a zebra, a snake, a giraffe. These are cute. This is my repeat pattern. Uh, and then I guess we were just spacing them out and playing around with it. Added a little splatter to the background. It's not my best work, but it was the first time I ever created a repeat pattern. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that because I think that's actually okay. I found one of my first ever logo designs. So this is a brand called Frank Burger. The entire class got told to make a logo for this brand. I don't know if I want to look. The ideas are there. Narrowed it down. This one is awful. I narrowed it down to this one. Basic, <laughs> as per, I think that's what I, that, that was like the theme. I don't think I even tweaked the font. This is why it's so important to tweak fonts because it's easy for anyone to download a font and just put it into Illustrator, put another font underneath and leave it at that. Like anyone could do that. The skill as a graphic designer is to be able to like tweak it to make it unique. And that's something I've definitely learned since leaving uni something that I wish I knew then, but obviously we've all got to learn. And it looks like I was actually trying to do it like calligraphy style. Okay, I'll give myself a bit of credit for that. So that's handwritten. Not too awful, but yeah, I guess it's the thought that counts. Oh, and I made a pattern. Very basic, but you know, does the job. Mock-ups, we love a mock-up. That's a cool mock-up. I want this. We can deal with that. I hope you're still with me. I've just found a folder full of a lot more client work. I remember making this and Sophie used this as her end slate on her YouTube channel. I mean, that's pretty cool. Minus the awful font underneath. I had something about fonts. Maybe I just didn't know how to choose them. But that portrait, proud of that. And I know that that was one of the very first portraits I created on Illustrator. So that's pretty cool. Jack Biggs, I feel like this is another YouTube banner. Okay, quite cool. The texture looks a little bit messy in the background, but I feel like the concept's quite cool. It looks a bit amateur, but I feel like I was experimenting a lot more with shape and texture, so that's something. And I know I did that background on Procreate, so I downloaded like loads of different brushes. Oh my God, I remember this. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, so this brief was for a little character, YouTube header again, logo someone who loved reading and had a cat. That's how I remember it anyway. Final logo. Curious Ginger. Okay, I like the font at the bottom. This part is awful. That font is horrible. I hate it. However, this design is actually quite cute. I could definitely add more elements to this. Like I could add little lines on the fingers and I could add shadows on the arms and details in the hair. Pretty good. There's a little shadow underneath her and everything. I feel like this is a trick. Like, how can I go from that awful Daisy logo to this? <laughs> Was I having a meltdown at the time? I don't understand. That's a poor attempt at a business card, isn't it? Lino cutting. This is the potato printing thing I was on about. Oh, here we go, look. Found more cards. Use that cactus again. Loved that phrase, clearly. Really loved a pun. Now that's poorly done, isn't it? That is very poorly done. Still a firm favourite. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that, a little texture on the flowers and I hand printed each one of those flowers. Well done me, I say, I quite like that. You see these, this is what I mean. These are the images. So I printed these, obviously didn't use the mountains, but I printed these, then image traced them in Illustrator and then changed the colours. That's pretty cool. I feel like I need to definitely get in touch with like my physical creativity more. I feel like this is quite a useful uh, little experiment looking back at my old work. Molly, I am sorry in advance. This is an awful digital portrait. What have I done to Molly's face? 
her eye is physically it's lower on one side how how did i not see that it's awful molly i am so sorry okay this one's cool this one i am gonna toot my own horn about if you've been to lincoln recently and seen this mural me and my friend designed it it's on a road called the glory hull i don't know why it's called that it's called the glory hull we got like a local artist to help us actually like put it onto the windows me and my friend lena designed that and that is still a really cool achievement i would love to do a mural actually maybe one day i'll get the opportunity to do a mural oh my god I, okay so i didn't actually use this like my i didn't present this to my tutor but look look at the quote i wrote this by hand in my ipad and procreate and it's my favorite quote in the world and it's the quote that inspired my shop which i have just closed after like three years and this was back in 2015 15 ish how weird is that that is literally the quote that inspired my shop hey look at this it's my pals in a magazine <laughs> so if anyone watches fab han or beauty spectrum molly thompson on youtube along with other youtubers youtubers they both came to visit me in lincoln and i made them do a photo shoot and i created a magazine so thanks for that girls <laughs> oh my god look these were my first ever pieces of merch little postcard set who remembers them there's the shop Oh my God, this is so weird. I did not know I had this on here. So this is a screenshot of my first ever like merch shop. I sold weekly planners, little inspirational note cards and notebooks. I remember placing that order for those notebooks. I have never spent more money in my entire life. They came in like 12 boxes. I had so many notebooks and they were chunky. I still have one somewhere. I have like a handful of these around still and the paper in them was incredible i absolutely loved doing them but they took so long to shift because i had so many of them so i was always scared to do them again but yeah what a weird throwback as if i have that oh this is a cool digital portrait i remember doing this i really enjoyed doing this one the watercolor background is questionable but i'm presuming it was in fashion then <laughs> okay and this was like my and probably still is my all-time favorite digital drawing i did it's in the fro victoria stood at like the nasa is it a museum <laughs> nasa place and yeah i think that looks sick hey look who it is sean if you don't watch sean on youtube by the way you need to she's an illustrator based in australia her work is so fun and vibrant and happy and amazing and she does like really chunky studio vlogs and they're always really well edited she's just the best all right for the final final few minutes i'm just gonna have a quick look in my design folder because i know this is where all of my design work will be we have a logo design for my friend beth and i already know <sighs> i feel like again the thought was there the skill wasn't quite there <laughs> sorry beth oh my goodness remember when i used to do these these were like little family portraits did them on procreate and i loved doing them i learned a lot about procreate when creating these and people really seem to love them and i loved creating them so yes I'm happy with those oh look there's another one grandparents together it does sort of look like it's been drawn by a four-year-old but <laughs> still cute all right last one it is for emily and i might toot my own horn again i feel like i've clicked a great one for the last one but i actually really like this i would do it differently now definitely with the fonts there's something about the fonts i feel like that makes the, the actual artwork look a bit naff the font like makes it i don't know i just there's something not right there but the concept of this is pretty cute toot my own horn <laughs> all right i have been here for a long time i could literally sit and go down memory lane forever but i'm gonna stop chewing your ear off now thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for the support over the years if you've literally been here since my university days hats off to you well done for putting up with me for that long i hope you've enjoyed this little chatty video and i will see you next time for another one bye